Hello everyone, the Mega Menu Pro version 1.3 for Bricks Builder is live. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new features of the Mega Menu Pro. So there are three features I'm going to be talking about in this version. So the first one is going to be the centered logo uh, feature. And that is going to allow you to bring your logo to the very center of your navigation. For those that want to design a header with a centered logo, or navigation with a centered logo, with a single click, you can turn it into a centered logo header. And to do that, all you need to do is to go into this uh, menu styles and options, go to that code block and scroll down here to this uh, options and enable it. Just set it to one to enable. And once you do that, now you're not going to see the changes in the back end here, but you're going to see the changes in the front end. And once that happens, you're going to see that the logo moves to the very center. You can see that it comes with what is called a center guide. Now, this center guide shows you the very center of your page. So the center guide would always be at the center of the page. It shows and th this helps you to know whether your logo is centered or not. And there is a message here. Uh, uh, that says to fix a uh, flash of and style content on the header and it gives you the instruction on what to do now the reason this message is here is because when you are centering the logo uh, you see that there will be a, a short flash you can see that that it takes a little bit of uh, some seconds before it is centered so to fix that you have to go to the pro header pro div uh, and the attribute and set these attributes to true so we're going to go to that and go all the way and set that attribute to true now this attribute should only be set to true when the centered logo is enabled so i'm going to save that and let's look at uh, when it refreshes and you can see that when that refreshes we don't have that flash again and the message goes the second feature is what i call the breakout link feature so it is uh for sometimes you have this cta and then on mobile let's say on mobile device uh, let, let me demonstrate that on an iPad mini. On mobile device, maybe you want your call to actions to still be visible. You don't want it to be inside the navigation. Likely the use case will be the call to action button. Uh, so you can actually make that to jump out into your header when you are on the mobile device. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select this last button and then I'm going to give it an attribute. Now you're gonna give it an attribute called data breakout link. Now, if you don't remember, that attribute is permanently on the menu. So we could go to the menu and then copy that attribute. So we could just right click uh, on the menu just to be sure that I'm on the menu. And then I'm gonna go copy attributes. And then I'm gonna to come to that last item and I'm gonna paste that attribute. You can see that attribute has been pasted. Once you have that attribute on any link inside the nav, that link, will jump out of uh, the nav into the header on when you are you know on mobile so you can see it's not there it's now in the header but once we go back to the desktop mode it goes back to where it is so that is another feature It's called breakout link it is an attribute that you can add to any item the next feature i want to share is just an improvement to the overlay header so if we have an overlay header by going here and then you go to overlay header and say true and i'm going to save this and then we have an overlay header now if we enable the adaptive height feature by going to that um, javascript options and go to adaptive height and enable it by setting it to one or true now previously i'm going to show you how it was now this is how it was okay uh, so whenever you are hovering on the menu items, it scrolls in from the top. Now, this would have been okay if we didn't have a gap here at the top, okay? And because of this gap, some people might not like the fact that it's scrolling in from the top. Uh, so there is a fix for that. Uh, I would say just an improvement, not a fix because it's not exactly a bug. It's just a styling thing. Uh, if you go back to that attribute, header attribute, you could go to um, you know this attribute of a data overlay header optimize adaptive height so it does if you say that to true it's going to optimize that adaptive height for this overlay header style which will make it to you know just slide from under the header as if the head header was expanding so that is just an improvement just a, a quality of life 
improvement. Another feature that we have is if we go to the mobile menu this time around, what I want to do, let's just go to the small screen. Now, if we go to the mobile menu, uh, before I demonstrate that, what I want to do is I'm going to disable this uh, data breakout link because the space will be too small for these buttons to enter. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove that attribute from there. Now, if we go to the header and then enable overlay for mobile, true, okay, you see we're having overlay also on the mobile device but as you can see that you know because of the overlay style we no longer it doesn't look great to have this style of navigation the way it slides in okay it doesn't look great we have a special style for that we will go to the navigation data match overlay header width so we want the navigation to match the header width and that is um uh, only available when you have overlay header and then we're going to change the slide in direction you know when we're going to set it to top so the, the the menu would slide in from the top and once we do that you can see that we have a very beautiful uh, navigation on mobile and everything just works great all right now, what if you want to expand the submenu items? This also works with expanding the submenu items. So, or we could say uh, submenu reveal instead of slide, we can change it to expand and then save. And we're going to have a beautiful style that expands downwards, which that is it. Okay. But I think uh, sliding is better for items with a, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of data like that. So those are the notable additions in this version of the Mega Mini Pro. And this version comes with a lot of bug fixes and improvements. Actually, the navigation I'm using for this demonstration is a fully functional dynamic navigation that I built in a tutorial that I just released. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, I'm going to link it at the top right corner of the screen. Check it out how to build a fully functional dynamic navigation with um, the Mega Menu Pro or with Bricks Nestable Nav. It's not just the Mega Menu Pro. So this tutorial is not a Mega Menu Pro tutorial. It's actually a Bricks Nestable Nav. So you don't need to have the Mega Menu Pro to follow along. So what happens here is that this top level is action, fantasy, and sci-fi are taxonomies. And under each taxonomy, you have top level posts and the children of that each of the top level posts listed under it and also the taxonomy custom fields and uh, button all right so this is all these are dynamically controlled so uh, and if you go to the back end and you can see that i have my movies here so if i go ahead and decide to add another for example you have this action superhero and let's go uh, you have superhero here so if i decide to go and add let's say one more uh post to the superhero uh let's do that now so i'm gonna add a new movie i'm just gonna call it and then i want the parents uh to be superhero so i'm putting that under the superhero parents and then i'm gonna publish it now, once I publish that and go to the front end, notice that under action, we don't have that new superhero movie. Okay. Under action superhero. So I'm going to refresh that. And once I refresh that and look at it again, you can see that the new superhero movie has been added. So it is, it is dynamic. Just check out that video and you'll see how I build this uh, dynamic nav. All right. So if you learned something in this tutorial, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. And if you want to get the Mega Mini Pro, you could get it here at Gom Road. I'm going to put a link in the description and you're going to see a link right here. So get it from Gom Road and use it to build your Mega Menu. I'm going to be bringing out more videos. We're going to build more Mega Menu live examples. Until next time, do have a great day. Bye.